Hello, my name is Sergej Lachtic and welcome to my V-Ray tutorial. Uh, this render was created as a student project and my goal for it was to create a realistic and graphical image. Let's take a look at Maya scene. So, if we go to perspective, uh, we see that it's really simple scene nothing really complicated so here we have a um, background and this is our model and everything is uh, modeled in ratio 1 1 we can start with V-Ray settings and let me show you I created one light which is really simple uh, V-Ray light and here I used white color and uh, in texture I, I applied texture inside let's take a look as you can see it's um, here is a bit brighter and here is a bit darker more texture and I needed this because uh, I had to do this that kind of shape on the glass of the helicopter at the same time I have here another li uh, two lights uh, one in one diode and the uh, other one in the other diode those two lights are, represent are creating a bit of violet and a bit of red color this is mostly about lights okay let's take a look our V-Ray uh, render settings under V-Ray tab if we go to the global options uh, first thing I did is uh, I change render viewport subdivisions this uh, usually change uh, like if you smooth objects it will render them smooth and then the other ch thing is I change um, change the max depth to 5 uh, usually render much faster if you know how much depth you need and uh, I rendered adaptive DMC and here minimum subdivisions and maximum to 5 and environment I haven't done anything and color mapping, yes, here I did gamma 2.2 and uh, linear workflow. Um, and under camera, I changed that actually I turned on depth of field uh, because I really like that it's a bit blurred uh, because uh, it gives more realistic look. So, this is also an important thing usually when you're doing it just test a bit and uh, see what you like and under indirect illumination GI yes it's turned on and reflective caustics yeah turned on and uh, I use primary bounces but I don't usually use secondary bounces I mean it depends and I try to create uh, light caches just to maybe render faster and uh, so light cache for lights and light cache for caustic we have a bit of it here so uh, mostly those are the settings render settings uh, for our rendering and now the other thing, uh, materials. Well, this is uh, a really important topic. Those are my materials that I used. And if, if we take a look, for instance, um, for instance, wink. Here, you see like really simple shader, plastic thing, and then I applied texture on it 
we we get uh, the nice texture here and it's a bit reflective but not too much it so looks like plastic and here I have another plastic like black tank and again it's a bit shiny maybe a bit too shiny but I think it's good enough and uh, the same plastic is also applied to here here and here and uh, these parts and then we have a lot of chrome parts um, like this and uh, it's again really simple shader diffuse color it's almost a black I didn't really put it to black and reflection color is also very bright not too bright and um, reflection glossiness to like uh, 0.7 um, because we need we don't want really sharp thing we want a bit that it's a bit blurry reflection like here you can see it and um, so this plastic and this plastic are very the same chrome materials are very similar and uh, this plastic is a bit more matte you can take a look here so yeah it's quite matte uh, not reflective and um, maybe other quite interesting um, is this glass shader which is combined from um, uh, we ray blend material and then um, I assigned uh, a glass shader with color inside so let's take a look here so under refraction I put uh, color inside refraction color um, which gives this uh, look like orange yellow and here I applied the normal glass so if we take a look here it's like plastic glass orange and here is also plastic uh, glass uh, which is not orange and this this is uh, Fresnel so Fresnel is connected to blend amount and this is how we got this shader and um, now it's just uh, now we just have to press the render and we get out this picture thank you for watching the tutorial and uh, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new